In this part, we'll work on the search functionality. So when we click on this icon, this should open a search model. Uh, let's create this file inside this function. Then let's create a functional component, rename this and save this. Now let's go to the layout file and specify this as a model and change this to search model. Let's save this and now we need to be able to navigate to this model when we click on this icon. So let's add an on press method here. Okay, so there we can see this model. Let's save this. And now when we click on this, um, let's just reload the app. So there we can see the search model. Now let's go to the search model. And here, instead of creating this from scratch, let's just copy the contents from the wallet model. And paste it here. Okay, so let's change the name of this component to search model. Okay, and uh, let's try to remove everything that we don't need. So let's remove this function. This one. And we don't need on submit the use effect and the old wallet. So let's remove this. Okay then we don't need the wallet data as well so let's just remove this okay so for the header title we don't need this let's replace this with search like this uh, then we have the form and we have some inputs we don't need the wallet icon so let's just remove this okay and uh, we'll change this later now we also need I don't need the footer so let's just remove this one now we will use this input for the search so let's create a state search and set search by default this will be an empty string like this and let's use it here and this will use the set search function and pass the value and I think we don't need this label, so let's just remove this. And this placeholder will say something like shoes. So let's save this. Okay, so there we can see our search model. Now I'm gonna remove everything that we don't need in our style sheet. Then the avatar and the edit icon. Okay, so now I'm gonna change the background color for this model. So let's give it style property and change the background color to neutral 900 let's save this then i'm also gonna change the background color for this input container um, not this one uh, let's add the container style property on this input and we'll change the background color to neutral 800 for this one let's save this so there we can see and let's also change the placeholder text color and use the color neutral 400. Let's save this. So the model is ready. Now I'm going to fetch all the transactions from this user. So let's go to the index tab. And here we are already fetching the transactions. So let's just copy this code and paste it here. So now I'm going to import the where clause. Then this will match the user.uid, then order by. Now let's remove this because I'm going to fetch all the transactions from this user. So let's change this to all transactions. Okay, so uh, let's import the use fetch data hook. Then this type. Okay. So now this must be fetching all the transactions and we can just confirm this if we just console log the total transactions as the all transactions dot length. Let's save this and there we can see in the console total transactions as 23 because we only added these many transactions. So let's remove this. So now I'm going to display these transactions after this input. So let's create a view and import our transaction list component then here 
uh, let's add a loading property as the transaction loading then the data will be all transactions for now then the empty list message will say no transactions match your search keywords like this so let's close this and save this so there we can see all the transactions so if i close this and open this again there you can see i love how smooth it animates all the transaction and they're all just slide in from the bottom it looks very cool so now we're gonna implement the search so whenever we type anything this will just display the filtered transactions so this will change to filtered transactions now let's add this here and i'm gonna use all the transactions and use the filter function this will give us the item in the callback then we will only filter the transactions if the search dot length is greater than a one otherwise it will show all the transactions so by default this will return true so that means when there is no keyword it will show all the transactions so inside this condition i'm gonna add one more condition to match the category of the transaction to the search keywords but i'm also going to lowercase both of these so category dot to lowercase then if it includes the search keywords and we need to convert this to lowercase as well like this so if you remember each transaction includes a category so if i go into the data there we can see all the expense categories and if this matches then we will filter the transactions or if the type of the transaction matches so let's just copy this and change this to type and this can be expense or income then if uh, the description of the transaction matches so this will be description so if the search keywords matches any of these three properties then we will return true and it will show only these specific transactions but if it doesn't matches then we will return false like this so this will be the filtered transactions and we are using them here and the search will update whenever we type anything in this input now each transaction had a description so let's search by the description if i type got a toy there we can see the specific transaction so if i remove everything then all the transactions are back now we can also search by the type so if i search for income then it will show all the transactions that have type income if i type expense then we can see all the transactions that are income and if i type let's say mug there we can see the transaction so with this the search functionality is complete and our application is complete so let me just reload and now it's time to do a final demo of the application both on ios and android so let me move these side by side and make this bigger okay so first let's uh, reload the app on android okay so let me show you all the features on ios first let me just log out and the first time user opens the app he will see this welcome page with these animations then he can sign up using this page or sign in i already have an account so let me just log in using my account and when we log in we move to the home tab where we can see a card with the total balance total expenses and the total income then we can see the recent transactions if we click on any transaction this will show all the transaction details we can update or delete the transaction from here let's go back and if we click on this icon here we can add a new transaction but i'll come to this later then we have a profile page where we can edit the profile we can edit the profile picture so let's update the profile picture let's uh, choose this one and if i hit update 
there we can see the profile picture updated so similarly you can add other fields if you want to update them as well then we can log out from here so let's go to this tab and this is where all the wallets will show and the total balance in all the wallets if i want to add a new wallet i can add the data here or if i just click on any existing we can see all the details and i can also update the wallet name so if i hit update there we can see the wallet is updated similarly you can update or delete any other let's just change this back to freelancing okay so uh, then we have the second tab as the statistics so if i click on this first we will see the weekly stats where we can see the stats from the last seven days then we have all the transactions within this duration if i switch to monthly then this will show the stats from the last 12 months then I switch to yearly and on the top we can see the stats and at the bottom we can see all the transactions within this duration and the cool thing about this one is we can click on any transaction and this will show all the details we can even update or delete the transaction from here now let's go to the home screen and here let me show you how the transactions are working so i'm logged in with the same account on both the devices so everything that i do here on ios will be shown on the android as well so let's try to add an expense transaction of amount 10 and the description will be 8 pizza okay so as i submit this transaction you will notice a change in here as well so let's submit so there we can see the transaction and the balance is updated on ios and android and the total expense is updated now if i click on this and update the amount to 12 and then hit update so this will make the total balance 400 so as the transaction updated the total balance is 400 on both the devices now let's try to add an income transaction and see if that is working let's change this to income and select the wallet as freelancing we can also change the date so you can choose the month date and the year let's just choose december and add amount of 40 dollars and the description as app fee let's submit so there we can see the transaction and the total balance is updated total income is updated now let's say i forgot to add the receipt for this transaction so let me just go back and add an image of the receipt then hit update and now if i open the transaction details again there we can see the receipt and if i open the transaction on android we can see the receipt there as well okay so uh, then we can delete any transaction as well so if i open the same transaction and if i delete this uh, just make sure you notice the total balance it will go to 400 okay so the transaction is gone and the balance is updated on both the devices then we have a search functionality so by default this will show all the transactions from this user and if i want to search any specific transaction uh, let's search for pizza and there we can see the transactions uh, let's search for soap so there is a transaction bought a soap so the search functionality is working here so all the features are working flawlessly on ios but let's see how they're working on android so the home screen is working we can add a new transaction if we go to the statistics there we can see the weekly stats first we have the chart and then all the transactions then we can see monthly or yearly stats so this section is working then we have the wallets we can open any wallet and see all the details or delete or update the wallet from here then if we go to the profile there we can see the profile data if i click on this model and try to update uh, we can do that but we don't have any images on android and we can log out from here so everything is working smoothly and with this our application is complete and you can visit my website codewithnomi.com and find other professional apps to enhance your skills this is a project we were working on expense tracker app you can get the source code from here and you can explore other professional apps from here 
and here you can subscribe to my newsletter if you want to get the news about these projects and if you find this video helpful then do like the video and subscribe the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one